Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Replay Majora's Mask. Last time, we looked over the rest of Icona Canyon, and now we're at Stone Tower, the fourth and last, well, second to last dungeon of the game. So let us get started. This one is my least favorite temple in the game. Unfortunately, I don't quite remember why. It's been a while since I've played this game. All right, first shot. And I gotta wait till that bomb chew is gone. Or I can just shoot him. Hey you! Over here! Dragonfly! I'm right here in plain sight. Do you not see me? Show off. And there's our first of the stray fairies. Is it worth it collecting them? Well, if you're trying to 100% the uh, game, then yes. Yes, it is. Do I want to go this way? Probably. And there are some bomb chew in the area. Real bomb chews. So I'm going to clear out these guys before doing anything else. And this thing is too big for a human to press down, so we're going to need a Goron to do that. Man, those things are freaky. Now then. Where was I? Oh yes, uh... First things first. Let's get a bomb out and blow up this wall. Link. There we go. Now then, grab one of these uh, crates over here and drop them on top of these switches here. And if you're wondering why that treasure chest is on the ceiling, I'll explain later. We're going to be using this song a lot in this dungeon to open certain doors. And I need the Goron mask for this next one. Make sure you max out all of your items before coming here, like Get yourself a full inventory of everything, just in case. There you go. Now then, take out that enemy over there. Gotcha. Now, do I blow up the hole in the ground here? Oh, 
Yes, I do. Now, what's that way? Ah, that was just to make sunlight so I can shine uh, that sunblock over there. So we can open up our next chest over there. But we want, might want to take out these statues first as Goron Link. Since he's the only version of Link that can walk on lava. Okay. These two don't come to life. But I bet these four do. Knew it. I sometimes hate it when I'm right. And in doing that, we get another hidden chest in this room. A small key. But if this is a small key, then what's in the other chest? It's the map, of course. Of course it'd be the map. Now then. Let's move on. And I think I need the hook shot for this next one. Oh, hi, you're back. And that was a bad move. But we still killed him anyway. And thank you for the heart. Now then, there's something I can hook shot here. Where is it? I'll worry about that for the uh, later. For now, let's go in here. Let's see. Something here I can hook shot to? No, but we're gonna need the Zora mask. Dive, Link, dive! Choice, wrong choice. I was about to get on that surface anyway. Now, what's in here? A key, of course. Now, let's see. Gotcha! And that activates a treasure chest over there. Which, uh, we can't get to. Not yet, anyway. I'm just wasting arrows doing this. Okay. 
take this. Now then. Oh boy. Go up, Link. Up, Link. There we go. That's better. Now then. Need the mirror shield for there. But what's behind that door behind us? remember one part of why I don't like this dungeon. Because of a room like this, I am not a fan of stuff like this. And you have to be quick about it. And I'm gonna kill all the enemies in here first before they interfere again. Come here. Is that all of them? Nope. One right here. Now then. Gotta do this again. Shining sunlight somehow into that mirror. Where'd you come from? I thought I killed you. You keep generating? Yeah, they regenerate. Oh my god! What the fudge? Okay, I just need to reflect it onto that mirror long enough. That way I can run over there and reflect the light onto that, uh, stone block over there. There we go. Ow! Oh, and there's our second stray fairy. I must have missed one before this room. And I gotta do it again for... This other sunblock over here. Stay out of my way, you fudgers! No, 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 no. Son of a! I kinda wish I had the light arrow so I can skip all of this, but I can't. Because we don't got him. And this is annoying them regenerating.
Don't you dare. Of course they're gonna dare. Why wouldn't they? Come on! Don't even think about it. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Kill them all! At least with the 3DS version, it was a lot easier to do this. More or less. Here? This is annoying as heck! Since down is up, and up is down! For aiming where you're aiming the shield. <sighs> now I remember why I don't like this dungeon. If I can get through this, I'm fine. Why didn't it stay? I was aiming right at it. What happens if I light the shield? The sun's up here. Now, what is that? Another stray fairy. Okay. What about the other sunlights? Okay, nothing. Just that one sun will get us another stray fairy. Now I wish... The sunlight would affect them, so that I can get through this a lot easier. Come on, we almost had it! <sighs> okay, we're back, and I finally got through it! As long as I'm able to get through this dungeon before the th final night of the third day, we're gonna be fine. And if I'm lucky to complete this temple, I never want to go through this, through that again, for as long as I live. A U-shaped room, and why are you going the wrong way, Link? You're meant to go that way. 
And we're flying backwards! Oh god, no! Come on! Actually... Before I try that again... Put on that Goron mask. Wrong frickin' button! Now we need to be quick and get to that switch. And too late. All right, Link, this time wheel over there. So bloody hard. You're basically a living rock. How can fire hurt you? I can understand for the Deku because they're living wood. And Zoras are pretty much fish, so how can a rock person be affected by fire? Literal fire! You seem fine going through lava. You know what? Screw it. Screw it all. Let's just complete this dungeon. I'm not collecting those stray fairies. As far as I know, that's all that's in that thing, and I'm not... Getting my blood pressure high, going higher up, just for one fairy. I'll probably try again off screen, but actually, no, I won't, because if I do, I'm gonna have to go through that uh, puzzle all over again, and I don't want to get myself aggravated all over again. Mini boss time. Link, I'm pressing the B button. Hit him with your sword.
Yeah, I'm still in a bit of a mood from that puzzle earlier, so I'm not doing much talking at the moment. And somehow I was too late to hit him when he was right next to us! Seriously, Link, how are you able to miss him when you're right next to him? He was like three inches next to you. Oh, he's not doing the teleport thing anymore, huh? Gotcha! To think I could be defeated, although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart to revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that witch, it reveals the secret golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple. You shall re rearrange things in which the Earth is born in the heavens, and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die, I shall, leaving no corpse. <laughs> Basically, he just told us the mechanic for this uh, dungeon. For defeating him, we get the light arrows. All right. Now then, moving right along. Well done, Link. And what the hell are you? Oh, hi. I think I'm using the wrong item. We need to be using arrows. Shoot him in the eye with it. Okay, rinse and repeat for that. First shoot him with a light arrow, then shoot him with a regular arrow in the eye. And that takes care of him. And what did we get from that? For defeating him, we get... A stray fairy. Was it worth it? Meh. Ow. 
I wonder, what does the light arrow do on those, uh, sun dial things? Oh, it opened a chest up there. How do we get it? Well, we gotta flip the place over. How do we do that? Well, first, get out of the dungeon. After I kill this son of a bitch. Now then. We just need to extend one of those blocks. Whichever one it was. That one. Pretty much just stand here and fire at that emblem. We're okay. It's just that everything's upside down now. in the dungeon we go. Now we can open that treasure chest over there. It was another stray fairy. Hoping it'd be something useful, but okay. Oh, that was the same thing that I already uh, shot open. What the devil are you over there? Something tells me I'm gonna need to grab that uh, crate over there. Bring it over to this side of the dungeon. I did not mean to jump off the ledge like that. This game was a lot easier on the 3DS than it was on the N64. Despite the few changes that they made in that version. Okay, I'm wrong, so let's go through that door. Oh, hello. Time to fly. And thinking more clearly now, I will do the Stray Fairies off screen because we got the uh, light arrows now. Oh! <laughs> 
Switch just do for us? It's not open that door. Look behind you! Okay, what was here? Actually, let's get back to this ledge over here. And switch back to normal Link. And fire a light arrow. At a sun item that I saw right there. Somehow I got him. And it's for a treasure chest that we're gonna need to flip the place back over. Now, where are we supposed to go next? Got your helmet. That'll take care of that annoying noise that the thing is making. Now, what do we got down below? Inside the area there, behind the wall, was bubbles. Okay, that's where we came in. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to try to fly across. Is that it? Nope. That wasn't it. Ah, there we are. We need a fire arrow. One thing I'll always love for Zelda games are the puzzles that they set out for you. Too high for us to see, but I think if we don't jump off the ledge from there, we should be fine. Jump down. Okay, we can't see from there. Still can't see from there. Okay. So. No other option. We're too low for it. Dang it. Oh well. Guess we'll try to move on. If I can see where I'm going. Thank you. Now, what's in there, I wonder? A small key! Nice! Now we can move on. For real this time. Going up! Just look out for these, uh, bombs. Mines, or whatever you want to call them. 
Hello. Uh, yeah, there's lava on the ceiling. That can hurt us as a Deku. And we can flip this room over. And might want to switch that Deku mask for a Goron one. I wonder. Nope, nothing there. So uh, let's just walk up here, shoot that th emblem again, and then through the door we go. Hey, there's a character that can uh, respond with uh, arrows. I need some. There we go. And magic if you need it, if you didn't use the uh, Chateau Ramoni. Let's see now. Flipping around. And I'm guessing we have to move these blocks to where we think the uh, switches might be. And the enemies have responded, so I'm going to use them to farm up my arrows. 33 shit to suffice. Now let's take a look and see where... Over there. Okay, so I just need to push right here, I guess. And then flip the uh, room again. If I'm right, it should land right where I want it. Yes! Yes, it did. Good. We're gonna flip this room a few times. After I kill the enemies in this room. The maximum arrows you can carry is 50, but I... was... Having a hard time with the uh, shooting gallery in the swamp, so I wound up not getting it. Now we just need to push the block one more time while well, it's the room upside down. Push it to the edge over there. <coughs> okay, now then. Let's set this room right side up. These guys are going to be a bit of a distraction. There we go. Link, why did you climb the block? I wanted you to push it, not climb it. Now you can climb it. Bay. Oh, fudge, not you again. It's that same mini boss again. I wish the virtual console of the Wii U would have motion controls, but it doesn't. And now he's gonna start doing his little doppelganger things. 
just to make it harder to tell which one's the real him. Peekaboo, I see you. Headshot. Got him. That's it for him. Huh, a treasure chest right there. That had a stray fairy in there. How did I miss that a few minutes ago? Oh, this had the stray fairy. Okay, then what was the one under this platform? Possibly another one. Okay. Stop playing that ocarina. Replace that for the moment. I know you're here, pal. I can see your lantern. I just want to get this pole out of the way. That way we can move on without any problems. Actually, there's more than one pole here. I can see their lanterns there and there. Oh, please let them not be a problem. Why doesn't that surprise me? Let's see what's inside that corner bit there. Whoa, that instantly killed them? Well, what do you know? Where was that chest? It's right there. And we get a small key out of there. We probably needed that, needed that so we can get out of here. If I can find the exit of here now. Don't mind me, just passing through. Actually, I think I should blow up those uh, mines over there first. <coughs> that took care of one of them. Oh, it's him. There's nobody up there with you, dude. Why are you attacking? Now, what's over here? Nothing except the flower, so we can probably fly across without falling off the edge again. Now then. Oh, fudge. Bobbles. Uh, let's see. Will the stone mask make me uh, invisible to them? Yeah, so far it looks like it's working. Fudge, it's the mid-boss. Uh, 
this Grim Reaper-like enemy is vulnerable to uh, the light arrows. Actually, that's not his weakness. That's just to get the bats off of him. The weakness is that core of his. As long as you got plenty of arrows, you be you should be fine. That just went right through him. Get up, Link, quick. I fired that arrow, dude. Hit him! Don't worry, I got six bottles of berries, so we're fine. First try! That's it for that, Reaper. And of course, if you had to guess... Right through that door is most likely going to be the boss key. Now to work our way to the boss. And it's going to be a waste of one of them, but let's use one of those fairies to heal myself. Now, how do I get to the boss? Good, that got me good with arrows. Now, let's move. needs to be done next to get us to the boss's room. this door. Now, how do I deal with an enemy like that?
There's a chest over there. Now, is it gonna stay? Yes, it looks like it is. So, I need to aim for here. So far, so good. And then aim for that chest up there. And we still got that one key, so let's do this. Time for a little roundabout with this enemy here. Face him one more time. Same strategy as before. And thank god I did the Chateau Ramone before coming here. Otherwise, this guy would be a problem with running out of uh, magic from my light arrows. I just don't know why Link would keep putting away his bow and arrows when he's using the same weapon to use both arrows. And that takes care of him. The Giant's Mask. Our second to last mask to collect in this game. And we're gonna need that mask for this boss battle. So let's get that out here. Is there anything else here that needed to be done? I don't think so. Ow. If I can just aim this thing... Still got her, but we made it. Jump down, Link. And we don't need this anymore, but we do need... This mask. Wait, I'm missing two masks? I could have sworn we collected them. Huh. How do I not have the postman's hat or the, uh... Other... Oh, wait, I... I know why I don't have this mask, but why do I not have the postman's mask? I could have sworn I got that some time ago. I'll worry about it later. For now, let's just equip this mask and get in there. Giant Masked Insect Twin Mole. For this version, there are only two weaknesses to the giant pair of insects. His head and his tail. And just to make this easier, I'm putting on this mask. Because it makes us a giant. And to make this somewhat of a fair fight. 
I don't care if I get hurt because we got plenty of heart, uh, fairies in bottles to deal with this. It was a bit harder, actually somewhat more interesting in the 3DS version. Their weakness wasn't their heads or their tails. You had to shoot these eyes that were under their underbellies, all of them, and then shoot at the giant eye that came out of the out of their masks. If you were low on magic, just break these uh, debris in the area and you'd be fine. Wait, what? Oh, I went too far. Okay. So I gotta work my way back over there. Hoping to get through that in one go, but apparently I accidentally walked myself too far and got ourselves out of there. If I can complete this before the night of the final day, we're good. We're fine. What the fudge? Now then, let's try that again. Again, we are a giant. Just aim for their heads or their tails and you're fine. Their body is like armor, so their only weak point is their head and the tail. Okay, that's one of them. We took out the red one. Now we gotta take out the blue one and then they're finished. Come here, blue boy. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Gotcha! And because of the Chateau Ramoni and the Giant's Mask, easiest boss in the game despite all the damage I took. Take off the mask and return to normal size. And unfortunately, this is the only time you can use this mask.
Why did I put it back on? I wanted to uh, remove that mask. There we go. We got the heart container. That's good. Now... Twin Mold's Remains. The last dungeon is complete. Second to last dungeon, anyway. We've helped all of you. That's all we can do. Call us. Call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understood, so... We understand, so now we'll help... You'll help us in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower. So do something about him, okay? What? The voices sound sad. Don't you want to? For... Give? Your... Friend. Forgive your friend? What do you mean by forgive? With that, all four dungeons have been completed. All that's left to do is, well, mainly a whole collectathon trying to collect all the masks remaining that I haven't collected yet, and maybe a few uh, heart pieces that I've still yet to collect. And then, and then, we'll finally go up against the uh, Skull Kid. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Replay The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. If you enjoyed this video and would love to see more, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.